trying to find somebody to grow our strains. We finally came across somebody like Grow Hair. Now our strains that we grow, our medicines, these medicines, you, it's meant for you to work on, to go to work. It's meant to change your life. I'm 48 year, I'm 58 years old, I've had 48 broken bones in my life. I've had a lot of fun. Before this medicine, it, it was hard for me to get out of bed. I was taking 32, 36 ibuprofen a day, which was wreaking havoc on my ass. Now, I, I, I can't even tell you how great it is to feel like this and not be high. I'm not one of those people that get high, I never have it. I'm a drinker, hence the 48 broken bones. <laughs> <laughs> not always been the smartest drinker. But anyway, why they, one of the reasons they need the, the, the increase in their plant count is to grow our strains. We went and partnered with them because I couldn't think of a better, more compassionate company. And our strains, they're not high in THC. Some of our strains have less than 1% THC. Some, a good majority of our strains only get about this big. So where they were growing one plant before, now they need to grow six to 10 for us. We are building a foundation. Grow Haven gladly came aboard to help us with our foundations. Just for the love of Charlie Foundation, <clears throat> I'm still freezing. <laughs> we, we, our, our foundation is for seniors, veterans, and to provide respite care for family with, families with autistic children. We, when we explain this to Grow Haven, and we talk to them about our medicines while we're looking for growers to grow our medicines, we didn't even have to ask them about helping with the foundation coming on board. They were already there with us. We, when you guys are voting on this, when they come in front of you to increase their plant count, it's for actual medicine. And everybody in this room can benefit from this medicine. If you have questions, we'll come up here. We set some up in the town hall. We'll come and speak to you guys individually. We'll come and speak to you as a group. We'll explain our medicines, the different targets, what it can do for each one of you. Being this old doesn't have to be painful, we can prove it through this medicine. But in order to, we need to have more plant counts for that. Yes, we could go to other growers, but we're not gonna find more compassionate, caring, insanely intelligent, and passionate about what they do in medicine. I, I, I'm not familiar, other than with this town, um, I met my spouse here 22 years ago, and we've been together ever since. And so finding them here in Papa, again, it's even, thank you God, it's like it, this was all, all meant to be. So when you guys are talking about this, again, call Grow Haven. We'll set something up at, at, at a hall that's bigger than 38 people. We can answer your questions, we can talk about medical, actual medical marijuana. I, I can't speak for rec. Yes, our company, we do have a rec license, but that's also so we can we can make medicines and sell it to dispensaries that have just do recreation. So we can get it on both sides because there are people that are afraid to get their license, they're afraid the government's watching them or whatever, they're gonna get in trouble, we're really not sure what. It's, it's a lot of different reasons. Um, we currently hold contracts with the American House, which is senior living centers and the Baldwin Houses do deliveries to, we do educational seminars there, and then we also provide individual counseling, help them get their cards, and do deliveries to their, <coughs> their um, facilities throughout, throughout the state of Michigan. Um, again, I couldn't, I can't say enough about Grow Haven. You, we need the extended plan. We need, in, in, again, if they're good neighbors, which from what I hear they really are, we'll, we're another we're a partner with them. We'll be great neighbors for you guys too. With our foundation, it starts in our home in Vassar. We'll, our second home is going to be here in Papa. We will do what we can for this community. And I guess that's about all I have right now. Anybody have any questions? Hey, you said it was for autistic people, right? Yes. How how does that help? Well, actually, when, when 
every autistic child is a little bit different. So the medication that they take is also a little bit different. Um, what it actually does, it, it's helping them learn. There, there's the kid over there on the first board at the top. He's an autistic child that also suffered, suffered from brain damage when a traumatic brain injury when he was born. What it does for him, he'll never have anything, his intelligence won't go beyond a two-year-old. And they said he was never gonna be able to even learn to go to the bathroom, go to school, do anything. What this medication does for him, it slows him down, it helps him learn. He's actually in school now, not in a regular school, but he's going to ABA therapy and he's able to go to a special school just for him. So it, 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 it depends. And then on the other board, there's another one behind it, there's another autistic kid that you couldn't even get him to look, pay attention. Now he's been on medication for almost two years. He's in a regular school. Yes, he has special classes, but this is a kid they never thought could learn. He, last time I seen him, like, I can't remember what the word was, but he just looked at me and he started spelling it. Without this medication, he would have never been able to do that. And again, they get high, they don't get high from any of this. This is an actual medication. And Grohaven, like, when we, I can't even tell you what, what a blessing it was to find them, because again, this industry, I don't particularly trust it all the time. But we've got to meet a lot of people, and a lot of people I just would choose not to have in my life, my business life, or my everyday world. Then what you come across people like this, and it's not just the owners, it's not just the managers, it is the whole team of people. And when we went there the first time when they threw our strains, every single one of them, come, they were so excited to show us what they've done with our strains, how they're taking care of our genetics. It's just, you just don't come across it. And then it's here in pop up right on my spot. Like, this is, it, it's fake. So can they get their license for today? <laughs> yes, ma'am. Okay, you keep calling it a medication. Is it something you prescribe by a doctor? It's no prescription, so it's not really a medication. Is it FDA approved? No. No, so it's but just as soon, a as, as, soon as they thing. throw that out there, so you, you, can't, to, you can't call it a medication. But it's the state just, does, and the state makes us call it a medication, so we have to. These are some of the medicines that we do right here. Just, I mean, anything, it's, it's, you can call it whatever you want, but it's not really, honestly, the state, yeah. the state has deemed it medication. It has that little boy right there. See the pills on the bottom? He used to yeah. take 32 pills a day. Now he's down to what is it? Two or three pills a day plus a tincture and a cream. It, it just is a medication. The state has deemed it. They, they, they only tell us we can call it a medication. So, so in closing, I will say that a friend of mine had he was waiting for back surgery for 18 months. He, couldn't, he wasn't healthy enough to get back surgery, and it was basically debilitating, he was bedridden. We got, we met Tuck, we got him some of her medicine, and within six days he was walking, he was operating a skid steer, and now he has back surgery scheduled for two weeks from now. So this stuff is life changing, it impacted somebody that I know, right? And I hope that all of you get the opportunity to, to have this impact somebody in your life as well, because it does impact, it does change lives. I this first time meeting you. Hi, Hi. welcome to council. Thank you. Um, Colorado State University. Uh, part of the reason Colorado was one of the first ones to legalize marijuana was because they needed to have extra leeway within the college to do exactly what you're saying you do for children. Mm -hmm. And I think. Uh, I think a lot of my views when I had gone out to Colorado to visit my daughter were that I was going to see like every pot smoker corner. That's you know? what I thought too. I mean, really, I did. I was like, oh, great, right, this is this is wild. It was not that way. I'm sure there's places just like there is and has been for all of these years, regardless whether it's legal or not. And the stuff that I saw at the university was pretty incredible. It's and I would love changing. to see that here at our big university. Because if you're right, 
There are people who are on opiates for years and they got off of the most incredible plan. I mean, thanks for what you do. I'm, I'm 58 years old and I have a job now that I simply love. I, I've spent everything that I've saved my whole life. I sold my business and I sank everything into my own research for this. God, I wish I would have met them a while back, <laughs> but I did. This is everybody here, everybody who's aging. Take a half of one of these gummies, you're not going to get high. You take a tincture, you can drink the whole bottle, you're not going to get high. Half of our medicines, more than half of our medicines, have less than one milligram of THC in it. And most of the men that are in here THC in it, they have THCA, which is an anti-inflammatory, it's an acid form of THC, which you cannot get high from. But it gives you energy, and it's an anti-inflammatory. Chuck, we're, we're going to have to...